What's up everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you have not yet, be sure to subscribe. You can also hit the notification bell down below so you guys can get notified every single time I upload a new video. Now for today's video, it is my second month in a row that I got boxy charm so now i am here to review all the goodies that i got so remember if you do not know what boxy charm is boxy charm is a monthly subscription where you'll get five full-sized makeup goodies or skincare stuff for $25. For this month's BoxyCharm, you guys are actually gonna be very surprised with the stuff that I got and how it actually turned out. I used every component that I had to create this look right here. Except one, actually, just one. If you guys wanna find out why I did not use that last one, be sure to stay tuned. Suavemente. Suavemente. Damn, I don't know why, but my boxy charm like it comes super freaking late. By this time, I think you guys already seen all the reviews out there. But I mean, here I am. I'm still gonna do my review. But here's my boxy charm, and these are the stuff. I already took a peek of what's in here, so I know what to wear on my face previously. And these are the things that I got. The only thing can only go, I did not get the little card that says all the information of all the products, the prices. I got none of that, so I'm gonna have to be looking it up on my phone and going according to my prices. But we are gonna go basically in the order that I do my makeup. So the first thing that we have here is this little eyeshadow primer from Pretty Vulgar and the packaging is adorable. It's light pink, it has like this little um, design all around it. I really, really like the packaging on this and I have actually never heard of this brand. So let me look up the price for you guys. Okay, so according to their website, this retails for $22. So we are gonna give this a go. So in my previous video when I used the eyeshadow primer from Morphe You guys know that I use no eyeshadow primers So basically the only one that I'm gonna be able to compare it to is the Morphe one So I mean that's a pretty high comparison. So hopefully this does magic So I got just a little bit on my fingertips and I'm gonna just apply it like this lightly and Apply it all over my lid. Okay, so I did get too much product where do I put this? Where do I put this? Okay, here it is. Napkin. It does feel like a little bit more tackier than the Morphe one. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but that is just what I am feeling. Okay, this eye primer is definitely doing some funky stuff on my skin, and I am trying to distribute it as like, equal as possible. Pero como que se miran like a little bit of patches along my eye i don't know if i did something wrong if it's the primer but when i did it with my other primer this didn't happen like i said i've only tried one damn primer in my life <laughs> so that is the only thing i can compare it to so what i did i got a little bit of concealer on this little buffer brush and i kind of just blended everything in maybe because it transitioned from my makeup to an eye primer sepa la bola but i fixed it and the theme of boxy charm for this month it is nature um i don't want to do a natural look i don't want to do a natural look i'm wanting this oh what about if i do like a nature but like stone like stones rocks there's it's earthy rocky earth right <laughs> so let's have at it let's make this theme an earthy rocky look so i'm gonna go with the grays because i want to match my shirt i think my shirt is super cute i want to transfer this onto my eyelids so we are gonna go in with the morphe G G I was going to James Charles. <laughs> I'm going with the Morphe and Jeffree Star Artistry Palette. Y a ver donde vamos con este look. I kind of had thought about this look before because when I got this shirt, I was like, I kind of want to do something that matches with this. So I have a look thought out. Hopefully I could transfer it onto my eyes. So I'm going to start off with a dark gray. I don't want to make it a tutorial, guys. I'm sorry, but I have a lot of things to review and I just want to get this look you know, nice and completed. So let's go on with this gray tone right here. And blend it out. So it is definitely grabbing the shadow. It's latching itself on to the primer and it is blending nicely, so that's a plus. I like that. 
Oh girl, you know what's about to go down. I am about to cut my crease, girl, because it is not an Alma Rivera look if it doesn't have a bomb ass cut crease. I don't know, just something about cut creases I love. Oh my god, I have this TikTok in my head. You guys know the one that um they do like a, a line on their teeth and they're like, I'm getting a little tired of broken promises from <laughs> I don't know why it's in my freaking head. And I'm over here trying to do makeup and I'm over here like, cut my crease, broken promises, promises. Wow. <laughs> Did you guys see that? Fuck it. Ugh. Are you dumb, 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 dumb? I don't think I've ever done a whole gray eyeshadow look before. So this is the first time. Alrighty, so I did notice that nothing happened when I applied the concealer over the primer, like nothing crazy happened. So that's another good sign. Actually, I really like how this come out. Okay, now let's grab that shimmer. Now I grab this silver, very glittery shadow from the palette. I'm gonna apply it all over my lid. Ooh, ooh, ooh. damn, that's what gets me excited about eyeshadow palettes. Like, I think that's my favorite thing to review. You know, the reason why I always use concealers, I mean, first of all, they work. And second of all, I don't know, I always felt like since primers are like more thick in consistency, I always felt like the more things you add on, like right now when I sprayed on the uh, setting spray onto this and then applied the eyeshadow on top, I would I thought I silenced my phone. I thought that would actually like make the product on my eyes look, como se dice, clumpy and not just make a mess out of things, but actually it didn't. Now up next on my Baxi Charm, I did receive this Blink mascara and this one retails on the Sephora website for $26. Girl, <laughs> $26 for a mascara? This thing better like magically appear lashes on me or something. Now I'm not the biggest mascara junkie only because I have the world's tiniest lashes and I always find no point into mascaras only only just to darken them and so they can mix in with my falsy lashes but I'm willing to give this one a try of course. This is what the mascara one looks like and let's apply some to my lashes. Okay dude. I'm not exaggerating, but do you see my lashes? Do you see my lashes? The fact that you can see them on the video, girl, that is a huge, oh my God, that is a huge plus. <gasps> Dude, it, I don't really like these kind of ones. That is the first thing that I notice. I don't like these kind of wands because I always feel like it doesn't give me the most product on my lashes, but what in the actual? Dude, I'm shook. I cannot believe this just happened. Like, I wait, I'm too excited. <laughs> you can actually see my lashes. Okay, it didn't grow lashes on me, but it did give me a lot of volume. It gave me length, girl. It curled them. I didn't use a curling iron, nothing. I didn't put nothing on my eyes. This is all the mascara. What? Oh my God, I don't think I've been that excited over a mascara in a long ass time. I know that this mascara worked wonders on my lashes, but I'm still gonna go in with false lashes because I did a full blown cut crease, girl. And if I don't put on false lashes, it kind of looks a little weird. <laughs> so I don't know, it's just my comfort zone. So I'm gonna put on my false lashes and I will be right back. Okay, I am back and I got my lashes on. So up next in my boxy charm, this one I am hasta las pinches greñas excited about while well, holding it like a freaking wand. I got the hourglass stick highlighter. Let's focus. Woohoo! How freaking exciting is this? So I got the shade Champagne Flash. Let's open up this. Oh girl, I've seen I've seen people use this and I see how blending it is and I see how beautiful it is. So I just want to put this all over my face right now whoa <laughs> it's like a triangle and it's so big and it says hourglass right here like I don't know just holding this like I feel classy I feel so bougie we open this up oh okay I thought this was gonna be the top but it's like this and 
did mine come broken? Oh, you guys see my tip is broken. I mean, it ain't gonna stop from working, but <laughs> it's broken. How sad. So I don't know. Do I just put it on? Do I blend it with my finger? What do I do? What do I do? I am just gonna apply it. A ver how it works. Let's put it right here. Okay. Okay. I sound like Lil John. Okay. <laughs> I'm like so scared to go into this. Oh my goodness. Gracious. Highlighting gods. Is this. This is so bomb. And this one did not disappoint. That's gorgeous. But let me see how much it retails for. Time out. Oh girl, this is $42. $42. Thank God I got it in my boxy charm, girl, because I will not buy this out of my pocket. But it is gorgeous. It is so beautiful. I ain't gonna lie. Let's put some right here. I like the control I have over like the application. Like if I want to keep it light, I can leave it right there. If I want to put a little bit more blinding, just like that. Really, really like this. You know, one thing that I really like is that it's triangular and then you can like adjust it at your manera if you want it a little bit more thinner then you can use it sideways if you want it like a lot you can use it like this i really like that versus a round tip highlighter stick up next i did get something from a brand that i've always wanted to say their name because i've heard people saying it hopefully i say it correctly jouer 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 Jewel lip gloss. This is a lip gloss from Jewel Cosmetics. Hopefully I said it right. Don't come for me if I butchered your name. I'm so sorry. So this is a sheer pigment lip gloss. So let's open that up. Oh, that's what it looks like. It's super, super cute. It's rectangular. The only thing is that the color, is it gonna match? Yeah, actually, you know what? It is. Plus it's sheer. I really like sheer glosses. I don't, know, I don't like them with too much pigmentation. A ver, cuánto sale? So $17 for this, um, standard price for a lip gloss. Um, that is fair. I mean, it, if it works bomb, it's worth it. Let's open that up. Ooh, that's cute. Let's get to it. Oh, it smells good. Oh my God, I really, really like this gloss. That is so pretty. I would never think of purchasing this. Honestly, if I seen this out, I, would, I wouldn't think of purchasing it. Why? Because I would think that this exact color will go on my lips. Probably during the winter time I would, but this is nice. This is sheer. It just gave me like a tint of color on my lips and i really really like it honestly when i first got the box and i opened it up i was like oh my god like am i excited am i not do i like this box do i not like it what's going on like some of the products look cool some of them i was like okay i got mascara i got lip gloss but girl i freaking love this box everything in it like so far is just freaking amazing and i saved the best for last and the reason why i saved it or last is because I'm not using it. I feel bad because I'm not using it. But the reason I'm not using it, girls, because I just got my full glam on and I got the Pam Tart backwards. <laughs> Tart. This is uh the micellar magic makeup remover and what else? And cleanser. This is, I love this, this is a big ass jug. Um, I love makeup removers, any kind of skincare products, especially from Tarte. So let me look up the price for you guys. So this retails for $18, which actually, I'm a little surprised because I expected Tarte to be like a little bit more expensive. But for $18, I feel like this is so worth it. If it works bomb, I mean, why not? It's a makeup remover. But I was scared, like low key, I really don't even want to use this because it looks so pretty and it'll look like a nice decoration for my room. <laughs> 
I know the things that I think about, huh? But look at the pump. It looks like a nice makeup removing pump. I like these kind of pumps. Like you barely like tap it like that. You the solid the product right here. You get like a cotton swab. You gently remove all your makeup. But the fact that it's not only a makeup remover, it actually cleanses your skin. I am here for this. Or you know what? What if I use it and then I add water inside of it and just kind of like put it that orno. When I use this, I will probably be posting this on my Instagram story, so be sure to follow me at Alma Rivera Beauty so you guys can be updated on this. But as far as my boxy charm, that is it. That is everything that I got. Um, I'm gonna add up everything and see what is the total value of all the goodies that I got. So we're gonna begin with the Pretty Vulgar Primer. That one was at $22. Then we got the mascara, which was $26. Then we applied our hourglass highlighter, which was $42. Damn. After we went in with the lip gloss, which was a total of $17. And last but definitely not least, this makeup remover from Tarte, which is $18. And the grand total of this whole box is a value of $125 freaking dollars you guys remember this box is $25 I you well, I don't because this is gifted by boxycharm but you pay $25 and you get all this all this bombness makeup I am so glad that this is the second month in a row that I received boxycharm and I am blown away with everything that I received I am so and forever grateful thank you so much boxycharm but that is it that is all I have for you guys today what was your favorite product I want to know let me know down in the comment section below and if you guys enjoyed watching this video as always be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys on my next one bye deuces Dinner for 180 Dun 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 dun